Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. State of Michigan versus Devon Ellis, case number 23, FB, FB, 58. Assistant Public Defender Davi Lee, but for Mr. Ellis. Mr. Ellis, could you say your name, please? Say your name, please. Mr. Devon Ellis, please unmute your device. Devon Ellis. Thank you. All right, we are here today for a pretrial and a violation. Uh, Your Honor, I do not have the pretrial. It was supposed to be sentencing. Oh, it's supposed to be sentencing? Yes. Yes, I believe so, Your Honor. I don't know what happened with the sentencing piece of it. Didn't happen. Could I, could I say something? Yeah, because the lady wouldn't let not, me not talk. Yet, not yet, Mr. Ellis. Okay, sorry about that, sir. Hang on. No words. Just hang on one moment, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I see. This case was reduced to a misdemeanor at the uh, examination stage, and then he was supposed to uh, have a sentencing before me initially on December the 14th. But prior to that occurring, he got a bench warrant. That is correct, Your Honor. And the bond violation is that he appears to he tested positive for THC on October 30th and then had an uh, abnormal creatinine level on November 1st. He tested, 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 tested until November and then on November 17th, he has not had a test since November the 17th. Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Ellis is prepared to plead guilty to that violation with an explanation. Thank you. Mr. Ellis, please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God, sir. Yes. Thank you. You may lower your hand. Sir, you understand you have a right to have a hearing in this matter, and you're going to waive your right to have that hearing and admit to the violation, is my understanding. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Sir, is it true that you stopped testing, although you were ordered to do so? Uh, November the 14th and you've missed one, I'm sorry, wait, November the 17th and you've missed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 tests. Yes, ma'am. Right. I find that there's a knowing and willing admission to the violation. Are you satisfied, Ms. McDuffie? People are satisfied. Likewise, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, what is this explanation? Your Honor, Mr. Ellis has advised me that when he had been sentenced to, when he had pled guilty to this offense in district court with Judge Simpson, he had been under the misimpression that because the case is no longer in front of Judge Simpson, he was no longer required to test. I did explain to him that that was not a correct assumption, and he has told me that if he were to test today, he would be negative for everything except for THC, and he is prepared to test today. I find all that very interesting because in reality, what happened was he, the bench warrant was recalled and the magistrate told him to test again and um, on December the 20th, and he has missed since then, December 22nd, December 27th, December 28th, January 3rd, January 5th, January 9th, and January 10th. So I don't believe that. Anything from you, Ms. McDuffie? Just echo the court's comments, Your Honor. In addition to the fact that this is an underlying case of controlled substance use, so I'm not sure why Mr. Ellis would have ever thought that he would have been relieved from testing obligations anyway. Why hasn't your client gone since he was told to go after seeing the magistrate? What's the explanation for that? Your Honor, I, Your Honor, I did not discuss that with Mr. Ellis. Um, Mr. Ellis, did you not understand that the magistrate had ordered you to continue testing? Correct, correct, sir. Because, um, because it it was all a surprise to me because I I didn't get to talk to no one or anything ab about it, and um, I definitely after that she wouldn't even let me talk the uh, the lady that I seen, so I was I was able to hear, but I couldn't hear that much, and I I just know she had set a court date for seven days after that, and um, she she um she just said come back in seven days, and um. 
and uh, what and it would be a citizen, and she dismissed my warrant. So I come back seven days, and um, she wouldn't let me talk then. And, and then it was supposed to have been sentencing, and then she postponed it to today. You're so I did I, seven days, sir. <laughs> you only saw you only saw the magistrate one time. I, I had seen her the day before sentencing. I was supposed to get sentencing when I, when I uh, met with the uh, probation dude. Mm -hmm. I did that and next morning was court. And uh, the next morning in court, she I couldn't talk. And then she said another day, like seven days out. And uh, I couldn't talk then. So she said it this day, like, which is like 30 days out. That's probably when I stopped uh, testing. But I, I don't recall her saying test. But if so, I apologize. But I definitely didn't recall her saying that. She barely would let me, let me even talk. You're not supposed to talk, sir. Oh, sorry about that. Defending is the test within 24 hours. And we don't have a... Do you have a report? Does anyone have a report that I'm missing? Because I don't have a report. I do not, Your Honor. It didn't get scheduled for sentencing. It just got scheduled for a bond violation. So I, I do come back again on like the 23rd and the 24th or the, or the 24th. What are you talking about, sir? I think I got another court date with you guys on like the 23rd or the 24th. Let me check to see if you have another case for me, please. It shouldn't be another case, but it, I think it's sentencing. I she think Mr. Ellis is a little bit confused. He's he is very much confused. There's a show cause um, for 14A1 for a fleeing case on the 24th with Judge Simpson, unrelated to this entire. So that is why he keeps talking about he's been in front of our magistrate when he's going in front of a different court. Okay. So you have two cases going, and you're confusing them and conflating them together. So you have two cases. I'm sorry. This is the 14 B court. You're here before us on the charge of uh, controlled substance. You pled to that, and I understand why you might be confused because I you were seeing Judge Simpson, and you then have another case in front of Judge Simpson as well. But those are two separate cases. You had this charge reduced to a controlled substance use. It's still a controlled substance case you have to see me for this sentencing. And the way it gets set up, you're here for a bond violation only today. It should have been a bond violation and a sentencing, but because it was only a bond violation, you uh, didn't get interviewed by our probation department. I understand that you were probably interviewed by a probation department over there, and it may have been that you saw a gentleman. We don't have any male probation officers. We only have females, which was another sign something was going awry for, for this case. So you'll be meeting with another probation agent. I'm going to schedule you for sentencing again. And if you fail to go test in 24 hours, so you need to do this by tomorrow morning at the same time. If you haven't done that, I'm going to issue a document for you. And I'm going to write that nobody, and you will not be getting out of jail. Do you understand, sir? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, I may just ask Mr. Ellis a question just to ensure he understands. Okay, you may. No, Mr. Man. Ellis, do you understand that you must test within 24 hours or a bench form will be issued? Can I get, can I get 48 hours, sir? Because I don't drive. And I know I'm going to have to have $12, so I got to figure out how to get the 12 bucks. But can I do 48 hours, please, Your Honor? No, you were supposed to be I, testing I, I, all I'll these times. Uh, you you're testing for... You missed 17 tests. You haven't gone since the magistrate ordered you to go. You had a and, test I apologize, and I apologize for that, but I just I got misconstrued what the lady said when I met with the dude and then the next day was sentenced and I never got sentenced. And I and this was probably December when you said and I but I I promise I'm not trying to Ronald. take you off. <clears throat> yes, Miss McDuffie. So I just want to confirm, he is right now on a random schedule where he needs to call in and find out if he's supposed to report. Correct. That's, okay. And that's what he'll go back to 
after he tests within the, the next 24 hours. Okay. If, if he doesn't test within the 24 hours, then a warrant will issue and I'm going to write new bond. So. What time do they open? I don't know. You have to call them, sir. And I'm sure that. Yeah. And now when I called that, when I was dealing with Mr. Simpson, I think my number was like number two and number four. So am I still looking for number two and number four? You need to go there within 24 hours and you can ask them all of those questions, sir. We don't get into those details. Oh, okay. Sorry, I ain't trying to tick you off or nothing. I'll see you back here, if not before then, on February 15th, okay? Okay, so now the, the um, 23rd is no court date with you? Not with me. You have a 24th court date with Judge Simpson or somebody, some other judge. It's not me. Okay, February 14th? February the 15th, sir. Okay, at what time? At 10 o'clock a.m. All right, thank you. And so you need to also call the probation department tomorrow morning. All right. Thank you, sir.